You're watching Minity Maths. In this video we are going to explain what tree diagrams are and how to use them to calculate probability. Subscribe to Minity Maths for more math revision videos. So, what are tree diagrams used for? Tree diagrams are used to help us answer probability questions. Let's look at an example. The possible outcomes for a situation are written at the end of the branches. The probability of each outcome happening is written along each branch. These probabilities are usually written using fractions or decimals. Each column of branches represents an event. For example, if we wanted to draw a tree diagram to show the probability of getting tails on two consecutive coin tosses, it would look like this. The outcome of the first coin toss is displayed in this first column, and the outcome of the second coin toss would be shown in this second column. Notice that we need to write the outcomes of the second coin toss twice, one for each of the two different outcomes we may get on the first coin toss. This is because we end up with four possible outcomes in total after the two coin tosses. Let's look at another example. There are a few important things to remember when using a tree diagram to calculate probability. Firstly, for each set of branches that stem from a point, the probability must add up to 1. You may find it easier to convert between decimals and fractions, depending on which you prefer working with. Secondly, to find out the probability of a combination of outcomes. Multiply the probabilities along the appropriate branches, depending on the combination of outcomes you need. Have a look at this question. We need to calculate the probability of the family visiting Big Ben, as well as Trafalgar Square. In this case, we need to look at the branches for visiting both Big Ben and Trafalgar Square. So the answer to this question is 0.3. We can also check that the tree diagram is correct by calculating all of the probabilities in the same way as we have just done and then adding them all up. They should always add up to one. For some questions, you may be given an incomplete tree diagram and be asked to complete it. We can use the facts we have just learnt to help us. But what if we are asked to calculate the probability for more than one combination of outcomes? Well, we simply add up the final probabilities for those combinations. Notice that the probabilities for the second marble are different to the first. This is because the marbles are not replaced after being picked from the bag. These are called conditional probabilities, as the circumstances can vary in the second event. In this case, if a red marble is taken from the bag in the first event, it is not available in the second event. However, if a red marble is not taken in the first event, it will be available in the second event. This changes the probabilities in the second event. Have a go at this practice question by drawing your own tree diagram. Pause the video while you work it out. For this question, you didn't need to complete the entire tree diagram. You only needed to complete the relevant branches. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Minity Maths for more videos.